This is Champions League, known as the sweatiest thing in Fortnite, with players that have over 100,000 height points. I have zero. So, for the next seven days, I'll be playing until I get Champions League. Should be fun. Oh my god. For day one, I wanted to see how far I can get just based off my skill alone. So I landed, got a kill, but that's when I seen something a little fishy. <laughs> Uh, no, literally, my friend Fishy got a kill. <gasps> oh, Fishy, bro, he just got a kill. Oh, snap. That's Fishy, and we made a bet. Whoever has the least amount of high points by the end of the seven days has to dress up in a maid outfit and do a ridiculous TikTok dance. So it looks like I'm going to have to fight Fishy in this game. Oh, God, the nerves, bro. I just got way more nervous, dude. I think I'm just going to farm up, make sure I got enough math for in-game. Hopefully, I don't encounter Texans, bro. With all that said, I decided to loot up in preparation to fighting Fishy. Aerialist. Dude, I'm going to need that. Yes. I was now top 20 and got into my first fight. Oh, shoot. Somebody's on me. Yo, yo, there's a guy right here. Don't tell me that's Texans. Yo, is that Texans? Okay, I got to take this fight somewhat serious. Dude, Texans, you're having a pretty intense battle over there, bro. Yes, I got him. Oh my god. Dude, Texans, that was a pretty intense fight, dude. What are you talking about? That was a wild build fight. I don't know why it took so long, but like, y'all were swinging around with the mythics. Like, it was Wait, the no, no, <laughs> you can see me. Right then and there, I knew Fishy had spotted me. This was way earlier than I intended, and I obviously wasn't ready to fight him. So I did what any smart man would. I kind of ran. Here, <laughs> I can't believe it, bro. Yo, yo no way you're running. <laughs> I'll no see you in the end game. Bro. bro. Oh, oh my god. No way this kid ran. But running didn't matter because eventually I was going to see Fishy and we're going to have to fight. <laughs> Yo, watch out. Come here, bro. Alright, yeah. Are you actually going to fight me this time? Yeah. Don't shoot down, bro. Don't shoot down. Come on, bro. Oh, I'm getting third oh, party. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, my god. No, you take my whole first try. Oh. <gasps> Oh, good trade. Yo, what? Yo! Oh. Oh. Ah, I fell! Yes! Oh, you're so no weird. Man. That's one oh, fishy. You're that is so one -0. weird, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're not winning this game, though. I'm not winning this game, though. I took that personally and destroyed everyone Here. in the lobby. And he's dead. Yes! Come on! I need, I need one more kill. Where's he at? You gotta head it out. Yes! Let's go, baby! No 365 points in the first game, which means I have a super big lead. All right, game number one, 235 points. That's not bad, honestly. With that being said, I currently have a 130-point lead, so it looks like it might be Fishy that wears the maid outfit. So for the rest of day one, my goal was to get to Contender League, which was 2,000 points away. And surprisingly, I was doing really good. Yes! Oh my god, he's in the gritty! <laughs> ah, we have the gritty on him now. Yes, sir! Oh my god! Philip, oh. right here, baby. What? Yes! Ooh, I should have died there, bro. Yes, it's a 1v1. Yes, yes, let's go, let's go in the gritty. After my second game, I was already about to hit Division 3. There are 10 divisions in Arena, and I was here in Division 2, while Champions is Division 8. And if I was gonna make it to champs in seven days, I'm gonna need a duo partner. So let's meet Candidate 1. Oh, what's up, dude? Let's try Candidate 2. Surely candidate three is better. What's up? Oh, yo, what's up, Slash? Uh, what's up? Say I'm about to poop on this whole thing in lobby. Meet Slash, potentially my new duo partner. Let's meet him. Let's go. Yeah, so he likes Dragon Ball, but he hates it when he steals his kills. 
All right, he did. Oh, you stole my kill. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. But if he's going to be my duo partner, let's see if he's any good. Oh. Oh, unlucky. Whoa. <laughs> yeah so clearly he wasn't that good at the game but i felt bad so i played with him anyway here's how it went what Pop off. Did he just tell me to pop off like I wasn't already? After popping off, he then had the audacity to say this. You stole one of my kills. Oh, dude, sorry, bro. Dude. But that didn't matter because we were already in our next fight. He's dead, he's dead. Nah, I don't got any more. I got one really weak. Kill him. We are now top 10. Things were looking good. As long as we don't push the guys near us, we'll be fine. I don't think we want to fight anything, are we? Let's push. You, you want to push it? This was a horrible idea. If either one of us died, there would be no way we could win this game. Oh my god, I'm 1 HP. We were both weak and could die to a third party at any second. We're going to die storm. But luckily, I'm insane at the game and we made it out alive. It was top six, and all I had to do was destroy this solo to win the game. There's a, there's a guy right here, and he's alone. I think we can tank him. Oh my god, he won't punch me. You gotta kill him, get here. No way, bro, no way. I know what you're thinking. Without me, there's no way Slash could win this game. But he's my duo for a reason, so it's time for him to finally prove himself. GG. <laughs> It was a black night anyway. The worst part about all of this is that Slash had to go, leaving me alone for the rest of the night and maybe the rest of the series. Alright, later man, have a good one. Have a good one. And after a short first day, I ended day one at Division 5, which is a great start to the seven days. For day two, I decided to play a few solo games. But after playing until I got a win, it didn't satisfy me. But then, I remembered I used to be a sky-based god. So I got a bunch of mats, built all the way up to max height, and then fell off. <laughs> ah, shit! Oh, no. No. That was embarrassing. But it didn't stop me from getting a sky-based win. Or at least trying to. No, bro, they shot me down. That is all my mats. Dude, Go. Shut down again, bro, I swear. It's not, it's not. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't working. But instead of a normal sky base, what if we tried an extreme sky base? Dude, this is so scary. Bro, I'm gonna fall, bro. I feel like I'm gonna fall. <gasps> this is scary, yo. bro. Yo, 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 yo. We're already top 20 and everything was looking good. All we have to do now is not fall off the sky base. No, yo. yo. Sort up, sort up. You're fine, you're fine. Land on it, land on it. No, yo. Yeah, so Sam fell off the sky base along with all our mats. But we tried again anyway, and this is how it went. Okay, it's top 18. This game is... I don't want to jinx it, but I, I'm just going to say this game is going pretty good. Look back at our masterpiece, bro. Look at that oh, shit, bro. You can't even see, bro. This is Dude, you can't even do that. It's perfect. Oh, There's people right under us, bro. Look at that. So far, this game looked promising. Zone kept pulling away from us, but that didn't matter because no one's seen us up here. Okay, it's a five tick. It's a five tick. Bro, build stairs. Build... Bro, build stairs. Go, 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 go. We're getting shot down. Go for the thunder pump. Save yourself. I'll thunder pump this guy. No! Fuck! Why did you glide arena, boy? I tried to. It didn't work. Well, hey, look on the bright side. I'm division six now. While I was attempting a challenge that seemed impossible, let's see what Fishy was doing. Oh, oh I just got one pump. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm not playing anymore, bro. What, what? Fishy was obviously struggling and got so mad he got off for the day. But he wasn't the only one struggling. Dude, I'm trying to reset him, bro. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Wait, did somebody shoot me down? Did I just fall off? What? I... I flint knock. Yeah, at this point, I thought we could never get a sky base win. But the reason why I'm doing this in the first place is to show that if an average Fortnite player like me can get into champs in seven days, then anyone can. So for the next four hours, I grinded and grinded until we got the perfect game. There's someone right under us. Man, we gotta go, right? 
guess we go. We're top 10 and things were looking good. All we have to do is conserve our mats and make it to end game. You have mats. I gave you all my mats. You shouldn't Yo. have. Oh my god, dude. We're top 5 and running low on mats. But luckily, Storm rotated onto our sky base. Wait, wait, wait. We should break the build in front of us so okay, they don't see I, that. I got it. Oh shit! They don't see us, they don't see us! Oh my god! 30, 20, uh, last mass ma material. Top Somebody three. decide. Okay, we're gonna have to go on him, okay? We go on the tree! Oh shit. Oh, he broke it! Like, kill this guy up top! Kill this guy up top! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh! Yes, yes, yes! I got the, I'm getting the match, I'm getting the match! I have, I, 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 I have the weird build! I cracked him! Yes! 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 We finally did it, bro. After so long, four it, it, it feels like we just completed the challenge. I <laughs> feel like we just won the race against Fishy. But I didn't. In fact, Fishy said he had a plan for day three that would get him lots of points. So I grinded all night until day two was over and finished at division six, while Fishy was at division two. For the start of day three, I was really struggling, playing against players that were way better than me. I thought if I practiced and created for a few hours, I could magically get better. But the truth was, I didn't really see any improvement. All I did was waste time and lose points. Therefore, Fishy used my waste of time as a chance to catch up. Yo! How did they shoot me? <laughs> How? Dude, there's only two, there's only two. Do we wipe them? Yeah, three, two, one, go, go, go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is in the tube. Guys, I think we're gonna get third party. Yo, there's a guy on me. I got him dead. He, he's low, he's low, he's low, he's low. Dead. Nice! This is Shoppy, a professional Fortnite player Fishy hired to boost him to champs. And it was working. <laughs> it's fine, because I got a pistol, I got a pistol. Let's go! Fishy was top six, a big opportunity to get a lot of points. All he needed to do was find a perfect hiding spot to gain more points. Where are you going? What are you doing? We're chilling, oh. we're chilling, we're chilling. They're not gonna see us. Get in, get in! <laughs> Clearly, Fishy had no idea what he was doing, but luckily, Choppy was there to be the perfect coach. Build! 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 <laughs> Y'all just gotta trust the process. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Chill, chill, chill. It's a 1v1v1. Let them fight, let them fight. Get the guy on height, get the guy on height. Sword on the Build guy on Build a roof, a roof, a roof. Sword is on. No, to zone. Don't. This was really bad. Fishy was literally doing the opposite of everything Choppy was saying. But if he rotates his zone, he'll have a really good chance to win this. Five builds, five builds, five builds. The sword. Sword to zone. Sword ah! zone. <laughs> yo, yo, I uh, no no no, it was a good oh game. It was a good God. game. We got the rank up, y'all. We got the rank up. We're division four. Let's go! Let's go, division four. In day four, everything changed. After playing the usual sweaty games with oh Sam, God. we had a crazy idea. I think we should do a challenge where we only have heals. At first, the idea seemed dumb, but I couldn't even kill 80% of these guys anyway. I'm actually already dead. No Wait, like, challenge. what? Little did we know, this would be the start of the hardest Fortnite challenge ever. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's oh, no, what the fuck? Oh my god, oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh. Dude, I couldn't move, I couldn't move! Ah! Oh my god, he's gonna do an anti-course on you, bro! He's gonna do an anti-course on you! He can do it! He can do it! No, you missed! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, you knocked him! You knocked him! Oh my god. Oh, look at him, he's at a course. No, bro. This challenge seemed impossible, but even after five long hours of playing, I didn't give up. So I got 1,170 points to go for Champions League, dude. That is crazy for an average player like me to be this high in rank. This is such a W, bro. Aww. This is so sick. In day five, nothing changed. We were still getting top five every game, but could never actually win. On the bright side, we were gaining lots of placement points doing this. But I knew if I couldn't win without guns, then I wouldn't be satisfied. So let's try plan B. The plan was to play solos. If I can make it all the way to the end for a 1v1 fight, I might have a chance to kill the final player. But that's easier said than done. Oh my god, dude. He just sprayed right through my box. Dude, of course, he's full fucking box. Dude, bro. Like 
This was my final game of the night. If I couldn't win here, I'd lose all my motivation to continue this challenge. I don't want to jinx it, but this could be a pretty good game. This could very easily be the game I win. Top four. It's finally top two. All I have to do is kill this guy to win the game. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. Come on. Come on. Grab this one touch. Oh, my God. Day five was now over, and I still couldn't complete the challenge. And just when I was losing motivation, I hit champs. Top five! Yes, I think that's champs! I think that's champs, bro. Let's go. Now that I completed one of my three goals, I was pumped. And now it's time to begin plan C. The plan was simple. Skybase to endgame with my duo. Then jump onto last team and kill them. But instead, they killed us a lot. No, bro! No, oh, bro. No. Plan C obviously wasn't working. So let's move to our final plan. Plan Z. The plan was to stream snipe a streamer that was capable of getting a lot of kills. And when it's a 1v1 versus the streamer, they let us win. That's when I met Enigma. Enigma is popping off again, Sam. Wait, look up his Twitch. He actually might be live. My friends found out Enigma was actually live. Now let's ask him the big question. How much money to let us win how much okay, money okay. to let us win no nah, we're doing this for free bro for free yo this was perfect it's top five and all we have to do is stay in our sky base until it's a 1v1 versus a nigga no no yeah we got shot down no bro come on but finally after three hours of stream sniping we finally got in their game Oh, Twitch and Enigma just killed Twitch Vat. Let's go. We finally got in their game, but there was a huge problem. The number one ranked player is in our game chat. That's right. Satasha himself was in our game. And to make matters worse, Enigma's whole team died. There was no way we're going to win this game, is what I thought. I played the game like usual, hit under a bridge and some trees and even seen Satasha. Yeah, that was Shasta. Shasta. Oh my god. It's going over. The Chelsea are going over me? The number one ranked player just fucking went over me? We're now top 10, and the number one ranked player died. Uh-oh. This looks... Shouse is dead. This was really good. Enigma was alive, waiting for the right time to fight. And now that Shouse is dead, his chances of winning just went up. Ooh, this is a pretty good spot. Now it's top four. Enigma's in a 2v1 situation. And if he wins, he'll give me the win so I can finish the challenge. He's oh my the god, there's a fucking... Look at this guy doing it! Dude, he's doing any <laughs> course! Oh, shit. These last two guys were good. But that doesn't matter, because I know Enigma, and he's gonna pull through and kill them. Enigma died, leaving me in an unwinnable situation. Was this really the end? Was I gonna die to sweats just like every other game? But then Enigma added and invited the final two players. Um, I have a favor to ask you, bro. And then Enigma asked if they would give me the win. So could you just like... They were hesitant at first, but that was until they knew it was me. Texans? Yeah, Texans. Yeah, I watch them as a YouTuber. Yeah, I watch them. They were fans of my channel. And after they flexed their edits, they finally gave me the win. But on one condition. I have to beat them in a 1v1 pickaxe fight. Oh, shit. This is like FNCS players, bro. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Let's go, bro. Shout out to Twitch Enigma, bro. Please, if you're watching this right now, go to his stream and fucking raid him, bro. He's the GOAT for getting me this win. So finally, we got the win after 30 hours of playing. I checked it off my bucket list, and that was the end of day six. For day seven, I just had fun with my friends, and I learned Fortnite isn't about your wins, points, or your skill level. It's about having fun. But the seven days was now over. Let's see who got more arena points. We gotta reveal our points, okay? Alright, alright, bet. Oh, dude, who's gonna be wearing the main outfit? Who's it gonna be? I'm not gonna lie, Tex. I'm not feeling that confident right now. Three, two, one. Eight thousand six hundred and ten. Wait, what? Did you say four thousand? Um, maybe. <laughs> uh, what did you say? <laughs>